Welcome back. Good to be back. Well, so, it's my first first time in Charlotte. <laughs> well, yeah, I guess it does feel kind of like it's the same place no matter where we are in the world, huh? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so can you talk to me a little bit about what you've been working on over the last six months? Uh, over the last six months, uh, just been, you know, just working on, um, you know, just, just trying to, uh, you know, kind of, kind of, you know, just bounce back from my last fight, you know, it was a first loss in my, in my opinion, my first real loss, um, you know, just working on my holes and, and, uh, you know, just kind of just trying to bounce back and, and, you know, come back even stronger. I know knew you were supposed to fight Gunner and now you're fighting Ian. Do you feel like this is a better fight than that first matchup? Uh, yeah, it's a little bit of a better matchup, uh, training, a whole different training camp. Uh, my last fight was a lot of grap, uh, a lot of grappling. And this one is like, I get to do what I love to do and that's focus on striking. What were your first thoughts when you heard that name? Um, I never, I, I, I had only heard his name once. I didn't really think nothing much to, uh, of it. Um, only reason why I took this fight is he called me out on the social media post saying he could out strike me. So. You know, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to hold him to that, you know? Yeah, he um, was here talking a lot of trash, of course, um, saying that he wants to make you pay for accepting the fight and all of the stuff sounds like he really feels like he's going, he says he's going to make uh, Saturday your downfall. What's your reaction to that? My downfall? Um, I, don't see, I don't see that happening. I feel like uh, he's still very green and young in the game and in the sport. Uh, I feel like I'm his toughest matchup to date. He ain't really fought nobody, really. Uh, um, and, uh, yeah, I mean, he, he's, he's still young and he needs to be humbled, and I'm here to humble him. Do you feel like the um, hype around him is justified at all, or do you feel like it's it's some sort of star power that he has? It's not really about his skill. I mean, he does have a, a pretty good skill set. I don't think he has... Um, I don't think he's he's ready for it. I mean, if he's like he's not like no phenom, he's not like knocking dudes out. He's not like he's got a little hype off of him, you know, uh, you know, because I feel like you know he's kind of like they're building him up, you know, and I'm here to I'm here to take all that away. What sort of fight are you expecting from him? He sort of um, felt like he was gonna finish you in the second or third round because he wanted to make sure that you were aware that he was the better fighter. What sort of fight do you see between the two of you? Um, I see uh, definitely a, a, a banger, one for the one, just one for the fans. Um, I don't believe that he he's been hit as hard as as, as I as I could hit, and and I'm like I'm a real dog in there, you know. And uh, he's gonna have me in his face the whole time, and I could see my I could see him like backing away and running away from me the whole time. Thank you. Daniel, you said, you know, he's got a bit of hype, but we don't really know his level just yet. You know, he's still working through the ranks. Do you think when, it, when there's a guy like that who hasn't been in there in a massive firefight, who hasn't been in there when it's going against them, they can kind of crumble. Until we see that, we don't know how good they can be. Yeah, that's very true. Uh, like his last opponent, kind of, a, I hate to say it, but he's one of the, the, his last opponent is one of those guys where you're supposed to beat that guy, you know? I I I I destroy that guy if I fought that guy, you know, and and he dropped him, you know, uh, and that just goes to sh like you know it's it's a little suspect his chin and 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 his experience level and and uh, yeah he pulled through that and, and was able to win the fight, but I think in a situation where he's fighting a, like a real dog like me, it was gonna like I I don't I don't I don't, I don't train to fight, you know, I, I train to finish, you know, and uh, I got a lot. Um, riding on this fight, and, and I'm coming off a loss, and 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 yeah, I didn't fight uh, Gunnar Nelson, but I felt like that, like I, I've been in a fight camp. I've been in a real long fight camp, and um, um, I'm more prepared than I've ever been. I've been just the most consistent, the most dedicated I've been for a fight in a long time. You said you got a lot riding on this, just because of the pressure you're putting on yourself, and and how much you want to get this win. Yeah, I don't put no pressure on myself. I say I got a lot riding on this is because uh, I got. A lot planned for the future. I'm thinking ahead. Uh, I do plan on on showing that I'm the better fighter. I belong in my position, and I and 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 you know he's not ready for me. Awesome. Okay. Perfect. Sit.